even if you're working with a number of companies, it's always good to have a framework to really understand what you're doing and which channel and what for and what sort of, what larger strategy is it laddering up to. Um, <clears throat> and so this is the customer journey that, that we've built, which speaks you know, directly to a retailer, but I think applies to any, any industry. And so we break down mobile experiences and mobile marketing programs and campaigns into four phases, right? You've got awareness, which is really like a, <clears throat> almost an advertisement um, getting people aware, engagement, transaction, which would be couponing, and then loyalty. And you're always trying to advance the consumer down this path, right? And once they're at loyalty, you got to bring them back and get them engaged, get them to purchase again, you know, and this becomes a, a you know, cycle that you want to run them through. <clears throat> so the other thing is that how are you integrating your digital with your non-digital, right? Online or offline. And so you've got print, TV, um, you know, radio, and up here it's you know, mobile, email, social, and how are these strategies you know, um, yeah, you know, mixed with one another? And what I want everybody to like, really understand about the, the difference of location-based marketing is it's not about hitting more people in your area. It's, at, it's actually about hitting less, right? So we view location-targeted messages as a filter for, more, for being more appropriate. And so folks that came within the two mile radius would get the offer. And we, we put out a, a ton of communication on join, you know, opt in for these location based offers so that it, when it's convenient for you, you'll get the sort of daily deal at the mall and you can decide whether you come or not. And one of the areas where I think uh, that's gonna emerge this year in a big way is, is shopper marketing, right? Um, and so shopper marketing, you know, people are in store using their phone uh, for different things. We see, you know, most of the time it's comparing prices, uh, finding a location, looking for deals, reading reviews. And so people are using their phones in store. Retail's actually changing, right? This is, uh, you know, the extreme example is, you know, if everybody's been to an Apple store where any employee is a cash register, right? There are no, cash, there are no cashiers. And so this is changing retail. Um, it's changing what actually retail is because anybody uh, on the street could be you know, a retailer or at least uh, you know, process a transaction. Um, I'm gonna move on to social integration. Uh, I thought this is a really powerful chart because it shows you know, Pandora and Twitter and the impact of mobile usage on those businesses. Obviously Twitter's taken off, but Pandora you know, filing their S1, um, you know, more than 50% of the business uh, more than, <clears throat> uh, you know, is, 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 on, is on mobile. I just think that's staggering. So what you have are these big emerging, co emerging companies essentially being built on and dependent on mobile as their channel, mobile as their infrastructure, and as their business. Augmented reality is one of these, um, I would put this at the top of the wedding cake framework, right? Really fun to think about. Um, this is, uh, you know, just an example, <clears throat> uh, you know, you, you know you put your screen, you put your camera viewing, um, whether, whether in-app or not, um, you use your camera and data is superimposed onto your screen that tells you about what you're looking at. 